Coming up in tonight's special Car Dealer Power Awards video, we reveal the best car manufacturers representing the UK. Such high scores, and it's still pretty surprising in this day and age. And the worst. I wouldn't be surprised if their dealers, after the news they've just been given, give them a big kick in. We reveal who's won what in our Supplier of the Year categories and chat to the winners. It's made 12 months worth of really hard work absolutely worthwhile. And Batch and I reveal the winner of our coveted Car Dealer Power Car of the Year Award. Hello and welcome to the Car Dealer Power Awards 2020. These are the only awards voted for by those that matter most, car dealers like you. I'm James Baggett, I'm the founder of Car Dealer Magazine. And I'm James Batchelor, contributing editor. Together, we'll be revealing the winners of this year's Car Dealer Power Awards. In this special video, you'll find out who the best car manufacturer is to partner with in the UK. We'll be revealing the best suppliers to do business with in a huge variety of categories. We'll also be talking to the bosses of overall manufacturer winner and the car of the year maker in two exclusive interviews. Plus, we'll be running down the top three cars as voted for by you and revealing the winner of the Car Dealer Power Car of the Year. Now, this year, we've had more entries than ever before as thousands of dealers have had their say on our website and our winners revealed here can be very proud of their wins indeed. Great stuff. So let's get started and find out Who's won what? First up is the Car Manufacturer of the Year, our most coveted award. Now, it's fair to say the relationships between car dealers and their manufacturer partners have been rather strained this year. With the coronavirus pandemic pushing relationships to their limits, there have been some winners and losers. While some manufacturers have done everything they can to help their dealer partners, there are others who simply paid lip service to it. But our winner always goes above and beyond the call of duty for its dealers. They're no stranger to the top spot in the Power Awards and take back the winner's spot after missing out last year. The winner of the Car Dealer Power Awards 2020 Manufacturer of the Year Award is Kia. Now I caught up with Kia Motors UK President Paul Philpott to give him the good news. Paul, thank you very much for joining me. You Pleasure. must be very happy indeed to win this award once again. Delighted. Always good to win it, but at this, during this slightly more challenging year, all good news is gratefully accepted. Thank you. So just looking at some of the results here from yeah. this year's survey, um, the, the, your, your dealers overall voted, gave you 94.8%, an, an incredible score. Mm. Um, the... Uh, the biggest ones were for, for warranty, 98%, no surprise there. Yep. Marketing, 96%, brand awareness, 96%, new car supply, 96%. Any surprises there or they, those ones ring true? No, I don't think so. I mean, I, I think with awards like this, um, you know, in the good times, it's easy to impress your network. It's in the tough times that you really find out who your friends are. And I think what we've done through the last six months is stay really close to our partners um, recognise that cash flow and latterly business throughput through the last few months to get balance sheets, P&Ls back up to where they should be has been really important. And that means continue to invest in marketing. It means ensuring we have the right supply in place to sell. Um, and it means continuing to communicate really effectively at all levels with all levels of our dealer network. So none of that really surprises. And of course, warranty is going to be strong. We're, we're blessed with the best. Right, now it's time to find out who won our Car Dealer Power Awards in the supplier section. These have been incredibly closely fought, with a huge number of categories, seeing the winners and highly commended place companies fighting closely for the top spot. Now, for each award, we announce a winner and two highly commended place firms. But to get to this point is an achievement in itself. That's right, a large number of companies were nominated in each category and the winners whittled down after careful analysis of their scores and feedback in the survey. Coming up after our first set of awards, we'll be looking in detail at the other manufacturers in the car dealer power results table. But now let's find out who won what and meet some of the winners. Okay, first up is the cleaning product of the year. Now, cleaning products are incredibly important to the Valentin teams in dealerships of all shapes and sizes. 
No customer wants to buy a dirty car. So the products these companies make give dealers a helping hand to shift the grime. Our two highly commended firms both have an excellent reputation in the industry and innovate constantly to help their dealers keep their stock looking shiny. Congratulations to AutoCleans and AutoSmart. But our winner has an enviable reputation for making high quality products that make the car cleaning job that bit easier. The winner of the cleaning product of the year category for 2020 is AutoGlim. We caught up with the company to congratulate them on their win. What does it mean to you knowing that, that your customers, dealers, have, have voted you this award? Yeah, it, it means an incredible amount. As you say, you know, being voted for by your customers rather than a panel just means there's just so much more weight to, uh, to the award uh, versus maybe some other ones. And um, I think, yeah, especially this year, you know, being able to, to win it uh, again this year in, in light of everything that's, that's happened, you know, we've managed to um, still keep supplying our customers with the products that they need and in their business and in the most trying year that, you know, any of us can remember. So to be thought of as a, a valuable supplier to them of car cleaning uh, products, yeah, it, it just means so much this year. Congratulations to Auto Glim there, the recruitment agency of the year. With mounting job losses across the industry, recruitment companies have an even more important role to play in the motor trade jobs market. For dealers looking to hire, that means agencies doing the hard work and sifting through piles of applications. And for candidates, that means matching them with a potential future employer. Our two highly commended firms have worked tirelessly during lockdown and raised their profiles to help advise dealers. Congratulations to We Recruit Auto and Ingenia Recruitment. Our winner, though, has been at the forefront of automotive recruitment and during these difficult times has been working hard to help its clients out. Congratulations to our winner, Perfect Placement. I caught up with the firm's Jimmy Matthews earlier to chat about their win. Jimmy, Jimmy, huge congratulations. Um, how does it feel being voted for as the winner by the car dealer readers? Well, obviously, James, it's a huge honour to have won this award, not only because it's voted for by those that use our services, but more so that in these strange times that we're living in, businesses took time to vote for us when they are concentrating on their post-COVID recovery. And uh, does it come as a nice surprise to you to, to hear that you've won? Um, winning any award is a large pat on the back for us as a company, but when it's for a record eighth year in a row, for us at least, it's confirmation that the service we provide, the automotive industry, has continued to be both successful and importantly, especially in these times, needed. Great to hear from Jimmy there. Okay, next up, it's the Trade to Trade Remarketer of the Year category. Now this year, more than ever before, finding the right used car stock has been a huge challenge. As used car buyers have flocked to the market and at the same time stocks have dried up, finding the right used cars has been harder than ever. That's why good trade portals that allow dealers to buy from each other are a vital source of stock. Our two highly commended winners this year were both praised for the support they offered dealers during the lockdown. Congratulations to Dealer Auction and Car2Trade.com. But our winners are relatively new kids on the block and received a host of fantastic feedback in our survey. Congratulations to this year's winner, trade to trade I caught up with the founders, James Vaughan and Ben Mitchell, to find out what this win means to them. Chaps, huge congratulations. I mean, this is a, this is a massive honor for you guys. I know you're a, you, you've put a huge amount of time and effort into this product. How does it feel winning this award? Absolutely delighted. Uh, yeah, thank you ever so much. Everybody that voted for us, it means an awful lot to us. Yeah, thank you. I mean, guys, you've had some absolutely fantastic feedback in our survey. I mean, you really, really shone uh, in this category. You're clearly keeping, keeping your customers very happy. I mean, does that come as a nice surprise to you or was that something you just, you knew was happening anyway? Uh, yeah, well, we, 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 we've lived and breathed this company now for the last two and a half years. And it's, it's, it's become like one of, one of our, our own children sort of thing. 
Congratulations to James and Ben there. Fantastic to see such a new firm doing so well. Now, used car valuations provider of the year. Used car prices have gone crazy since lockdown. It's a regular source of news on our website as values seemingly tick up and up each month as demand outstrips supply. Keeping track of prices is hard work and can be a combination of data, analysis of trends and good old fashioned market know-how. Huge congratulations to our highly commended winners, Cap, HPI and Glasses. But our winner has used a combination of huge data resources and real-time sales information to give dealers a superb picture of exactly what's happening in the used car market. Congratulations go to Serial Car Dealer Power Award winner, Auto Trader. I caught up with the firms Ian Plummer and chatted about the win. Ian, huge congratulations. How does it feel being voted as the winner by car dealer readers? Thank you very much, James, and thank you to all your readers, more importantly. Um, it really does mean a great deal to us because it's voted on, and as you've touched on, obviously by your retailers and the businesses, therefore, that are using our products every day, which is really quite humbling. Um, the award brings great industry credibility, which we're grateful for, and it's amazing recognition for the data that we have and the science that we apply to that data, of course, but also for the hard work that a lot of our auto trade team put behind our valuations. Okay, great to hear from Ian there. Next up, we've got the Consumer Lead Generation Provider of the Year. Now, generating quality consumer leads of customers looking for a new car feeds a healthy marketplace. Success here often requires good quality content and advice paired with a slick website that funnels leads through to the dealers. Congratulations to our two highly commended firms for 2020. It's Rapid RTC and Watcar. Our winner has worked tirelessly to help keep leads flowing to dealers and constantly innovates online. The winner of the Consumer Lead Generation Site of the Year is Carwell. I caught up with their CEO and founder, James Hind, to find out what the win means to them. James, good afternoon. Thank you for joining us and a huge congratulations for winning this award. What does it mean to you and the team who are obviously not in the office behind you, but probably watching from home? Uh, thank you, James. Good to talk again. Uh, yeah, it means a lot. This is what we spend our time doing. Uh, we want to get high quality leads to our partner dealers. They then do all the great work to convert them, uh, but our job is to get really good ones in. And so delighted to have won the award. Um, you were up against some seriously tough competition in, in, in this category, as you are every year. Um, what I noticed from the comments that came back from the readers, and we've had more submissions than ever before this year, was that they really valued the service that, that, that you guys give. And does that sort of ring true? Yes, and I think it's a big area that we've shifted over the last few years. Particularly, we've now changed the way we charge your dealers. It used to be on a cost per sale. Now everyone's charged cost per inquirer. And we've dialed up hugely the focus on, okay, we send you lots of inquiries, but now our team focus on helping you manage your processes and improve conversion in there. So that service is a big, 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 big part of what we now spend a lot of time on. Congratulations to James and the team there. Dealer Management System of the Year. Keeping track of when customers are due for renewal or simply keeping in touch with them has never been more important. A good DMS will not only help you keep track of sales, but you'll be able to maximise returns across your business as it helps manage your data. Our two highly commended firms were both praised for their excellent customer service. Congratulations to Click Dealer and Dragon 2000. Our winner, though, is a system that has the backing of one of the largest dealer groups in the UK. And that experience is certainly helping sharpen its offering to other dealers. The winner of the DMS category is Pinewood. We caught up with Pendragon CEO Bill Berman to find out what the win means to them. Well, th thank you, James. I, I, it's, I'm, I'm elated. Um, the team is just absolutely amazing. Um, they perform at a high level um, and uh, no disrespect, but I think this is a award that's a long overdue.
<laughs> well, you have to uh, thank our readers for that one. They, we've had some, <laughs> you've had some fantastic feedback this year in the survey. We've had a huge amount of respondents this year, largely due to the fact that we're massively concentrating on our website now <laughs> and lots of, pe- lots of people on there reading stories. But you got some great, great comments this year. People really like the service that, that Pinewood gives, but also that technology and how it helps them run their dealerships. Does that kind of, do, is what I'm saying ring true with you? I mean, is that what you're hearing uh, from your customers? Uh, absolutely. And if anything, I think uh, with the lockdown and some of the challenges, the new ways to work that the, uh, the recent pandemic has brought to light, I think Pinewood has really stood head and shoulders uh, above uh, the rest of the competition with some of the systems and processes and the tools that they have to help a dealer facilitate in this new kind of uh, retail environment that we're currently experiencing. Um, I think they really stood out tall and uh, you could definitely see their product. Um, the way they had things set up was uh, industry leading cutting edge and, and I think it's really helped facilitate dealers um, in this unique time. Nice to see Pendragon winning something there. Okay, next up we've got website provider for independent dealers. Now website designers have been working frantically during the lockdown to ready car dealers digital shop windows to cope with online sales. With physical showrooms closed, dealers up and down the country turned to their websites to keep their businesses running. And it was the website designers that burned the midnight oil to get them up and running when they needed it most. Congratulations to our two highly commended winners this year, which go to also web design and click dealer. But our winner is a small firm with big ambitions and a fantastic reputation. Their clients couldn't praise them highly enough. Our winner for 2020 is 67 degrees. I caught up with the firms Laura Colby and Stuart Harvey to find out what the win means to them. Congratulations guys, really good to see you. How does it feel to be a car dealer power winner once again? Thanks, James. Yeah, amazing. Like we were so so happy to to be told and to receive the news this week. And you know, for for me, this is the third year in a row for us for this award. And you know, year one was amazing. Year two was unbelievable. So year three for me is just yeah, amazing, absolutely amazing. Yeah, yeah. First, things to echo what uh, Laura says. Obviously, thank you, James. Obviously, thank you again to our dealers that have voted for us. Um, this is our third consecutive win. And it's a win that's close to our heart um, award voted for by our customers for, for our service. Our whole ethos is great customer service, building that strong relationships with our dealers. So to be recognised in that manner in what has been arguably quite a challenging year for both the motor trade of the country, the world as a whole, um, I think feels even, even more sweeter this year. Super to hear two hardworking people so happy there. Now, in a moment, we'll be finding out who the winners are in website provider for franchise dealers, provenance checks, warranties, paint protection, auction house of the year and more. But next up, we'll take a closer look at the manufacturer winners and losers. OK, James, let's talk about the manufacturers in a little bit more detail. I mean, what have we really seen with power this year? Well, I think, firstly, I mean, let's talk about how many responses we had to this survey. I mean, we had more than 2,000 this year. It's been our best ever. We've been running on our website for the last couple of months. A huge number of people on there. Uh, and that's resulted in, in lots of people responding to the survey. Now, we assessed the manufacturers in 13 different categories. None of them are weighted, so they've all got um, equal importance. Then we take an average overall percentage of those scores to one decimal point to come up with our winners. Um, there have been a couple of ties in this year's list, um, but overall a huge 50% between the top performers and the bottom. Okay. So um, with that in mind, I think it's probably a good time to look at the top three. So w- w- who, who filled the top three places out? Yeah, OK, so um, Kia was number one. Uh, they got a score of 94.8%. In second, we've got Lexus with 94.1%, so incredibly close between mm-hmm. those two. And then in third, it's Volvo with 89.9%. But let's focus on Kia uh, with a little bit more detail. Um, they're up one place this year, which they'll be very 
very happy about. All scores in our survey were um, above 90%. Um, eight of the 13 categories were above 95%. Uh, warranty, in particular, 98% score. Marketing got 96 Brand awareness, 96 And new car supply, something that keeps dealers very happy, was uh, 96 too. Mm -hmm. I mean, we shouldn't really be surprised at the warranty, but <clears throat> nevertheless, these such high scores... And it's still pretty surprising in this day and age, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, I think it, warranties with Korean car manufacturers are always a very yeah. big strong point, but um, it's the consistency here. Mm. The fact they've got so many uh, of those categories above 95% is, is, has seen them the top, our, top our survey this year. Yeah, OK, so number two, Lexus. Yeah, number two, Lexus. New entry this mm. year, surprisingly. Last year, um, we didn't have enough responses from Lexus dealers to, uh, to include them in our survey. 94.1%, uh, very close call, 0.7% behind Kia. An incredible 99% score in the warranty category. That's the highest in total across the whole survey. Uh, after sales, they got 97%. Uh, access accessibility of their management, 97%. And new car supply, 97 too. Um, it's a used car scheme where they drop the ball a little bit here. Uh, they're below 90 there on 89%, and that's the main factor they didn't win. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not a huge drop in the, in the grand spectrum of things, but if they sort that out next year, they could be a, sort of vying for top space, couldn't yeah, they? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, Lexus really did put the challenge to Kia this year, um, and if they hadn't dropped some, some um, marks in that category, they, they would have yeah. topped the pole. So, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what they do next year. Hugely impressive. So third place then, Volvo. Yeah, uh, they're up six places this year, 89.9%. Uh, they've got a cracking range of cars. Uh, they've worked really, really hard on those. Yeah. Um, they're pushing them pretty hard, uh, but they've moved, as I said, moved up the table six places. Solid scores um, across the categories. Um, they've they've got 90% uh, in most in most of those categories. Particular praise for return on investment, uh, new car supply, and uh, forward planning there. Okay, brilliant. Okay, well, that's the top three then. Yep. Um, let's look at the rest of the table, because um, I'm sure there's going to be a few surprises there, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, there, there are. Um, it's... Um, it's <laughs> interesting really picture uh, across the table there um, I think probably the, the the one to focus on next would be Audi yeah. uh, they're our biggest riser this year um, they're up 14 places uh, to 7th from 21st last year uh, last year return on investment uh, and their new car offers were marked down they've clearly worked hard on those two Pretty consistent scores around the 80% mark across the board. Highest mark was 84% there for finance offers. Brand awareness, used car scheme and bonus all scored above 80%. So decent scores mm. and uh, the Germans there will be pretty happy with that rise up our, uh, up our table. No, I'm sure they will. And, but the surprising thing about this though is that 81%, I mean ordinarily that would be an incredibly strong score but it's only landed them seventh. So it shows you how the competition has been really strong this year. Yeah, and shows you just how good our top three really yeah. are. Yeah, yeah um, I think it's probably worth focusing on the, uh, on the bottom half of yeah. the table um, now, this is where those manufacturers are going to be rather disappointed. Yeah, I mean, it's disappointing for Land Rover and Jaguar there. I know they were really trying to improve their schools this year, so that's a slight yeah, sort of surprise. I, I don't think JLR are going to be particularly happy with that. They, those dealers have invested huge amounts of monies in those dealerships. I mean, we've reported them. Yeah. yeah, I mean, they are massive, yeah. massive investments. So the fact that they're 20 and 21st in our survey won't go down well. OK, yeah, so let's focus on our biggest faller now, down 14 places. It's Hyundai, 65.7% top three last year batch. They were on the podium uh, and they've dropped um, down to 16th this year. Really disappointing for, for Hyundai. And especially interesting considering Kia win the survey. Yeah, it is. I mean, unsurprisingly, though, warranty does score highly. Like we said, it's a Korean car manufacturer, but it's clear there's some very unhappy dealers out yeah, there. Yeah, I mean, there, there are some unhappy dealers out there for Hyundai. I mean, poor scores here for the used car scheme, mm. forward planning, manufacturer requirements, and the bonus um, all hurt it badly. But you're right, yeah, it, warranty was the uh, redeeming factor there, but they will be disappointed, that's yeah. for sure. OK, so Hyundai, biggest faller. Let's look at the bottom three. And again, 
it's a bit of a surprise, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, I mean, let's start with Vauxhall. Um, they are down um, one place this year. Um, dealers particularly uh, hate the manufacturer's heavy-handed attitude to uh, their, their requirements, uh, 52%. Um, and if, if we look at the uh, the scores, they're all pretty disappointing. I mean, brand awareness. Now, that does surprise me. I mean, you know, everybody knows who Vauxhall is. Um, and they've done a big campaign this year promoting the Britishness of the brand. And yet, with brand awareness, I mean, it's not. It's just over fifty percent. Yeah, clearly it hasn't hasn't got through to no. the dealers. I mean, they're, they're they're the ones who are who are voting in this survey and are not very happy. No. So yeah, disappointing disappointing place for Vauxhall. Yeah, Mitsubishi up next. Yeah, Ch challenging year for Mitsubishi. <laughs> Rather isn't so. It? Yeah, fifty fifty one point one percent. They're up two, but that's only because we've lost two manufacturers out of our survey. Okay. So they're in exactly the same position as last year, second from bottom. And you're right, they've pulled out of Europe or announced that they're pulling out of Europe. Deal is clearly very annoyed about that. Um, they, um, yeah, particularly particularly disappointed with things like manufacturer requirements, return on investment. Well, I mean, those dealers invested huge amounts of money in, yeah. in, in taking on that franchise, and now the brand is pulling out of Europe. Yeah. What do they do next? So, no. yeah, understandably, second from bottom in our survey. And uh, we, we don't like to sort of... Uh, uh, be the bearer of bad news, but 2021 probably doesn't look too good for Mitsubishi either. So it's going to be interesting to see where Mitsubishi finish next year, but yeah. it doesn't look good. Does no, it? it doesn't. I wouldn't be surprised if their dealers, after the news they've just been given, give them a big kick in at yeah. the bottom of the bottom of the table. But they're not this year. No. Last place, though, MG. Yeah, MG, um, dreadful uh, position, really. Down nine pl places, 42.6% overall. Dreadful scores for bonuses, accessibility of management, used car scheme, forward planning, and the requirements. They all costed uh, dearly. I'm not sure whether their EV availability has, uh, has, has hurt them. Mm. I mean, I'm not sure what you think they're batch, but I think that probably could have punished them a little bit. I think e EVs in general have been pretty strong and their model range is improving by the week, really, in terms of quality and, and sales. Sales have been particularly good over the past few months as well. But the, the surprising thing I find about this, though, is the dealer network is loyal. I mean, there used to be Chevrolet dealers, there used to be even MG Rover dealers back in the day, and yet they're not happy, and that's really going to sting for MG. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, 30% score for manufacturer requirements, bonus scheme or relative lack of one, got just 30%. And their used car scheme in particular, another one uh, uh, that scored 30%. And for comparison, Kia at the top of the table scored over 90% percent for all of those categories so you can see how they've ended up down the bottom i mean mg they won't be happy uh, and they're going to have to work hard to keep their keep their retailers happy for for, for next year's survey. yeah yeah so we'll look forward to seeing what happens next year but that is the results for 2020 Peggy. yeah and it's worth mentioning back so that those manufacturers not included in our survey is because they didn't have the minimum of 10 dealers responding to our survey fantastic well thanks very much for that james right let's go back to the awards Right, let's turn to the second section of the Suppliers Awards, website provider for franchise dealers. With showrooms closed and click and collect the saving grace for dealers, during lockdown, franchise dealers needed all singing and all dancing websites. From finance quotes and part exchange valuations to the ability to buy a car completely online, dealers push their designers to the limits. Our two highly commended firms rose to the challenge of lockdown and should be very proud of their achievements. They are Auto Web Design and Blue Sky. But our winner has excelled with an incredible online sales proposition. During lockdown, they rolled out sites at a record pace to the delight of desperate dealers. Our winner for 2020 is GeForces. I caught up with Paul Hilton from G-Forces to find out what the win meant to them. Well, we are always, always delighted to win this award. I mean, I don't want to boast, but I think it's the fifth year running that we've been successful in picking up this particular award. Um, and for us, James, the Car Dealer Awards are so important because, of course, they are voted for by car dealers. So to be voted uh, the best provider of franchise dealers uh, for five years running uh, is, is such a great achievement. And we're, we're so proud of our team and, and all of the people in G-Forces for, uh, for the hard work and effort they've put in. But of course, you know, 
grateful without our customers we wouldn't be here so we're, we're absolutely thrilled thank you Great to see Paul there so happy. Okay, next up, we've got Provenance Check Provider of the Year. With the huge numbers of used cars being sold right now, the chances of buying a dud rises exponentially. A decent Provenance Check is a car dealer's best friend, and our shortlisted firms receive plenty of praise from thankful dealers. Our two highly commended firms were praised for their slick systems and ease of use, and this year go to Experian and MotorCheck. But our winner for 2020 is Cap HBI. I gave the firms Wendy Swain the news and chatted about the win. Wendy, congratulations, uh, a huge achievement. I know you've been, uh, well, you haven't been here before because we haven't done it on video before, but you've been <laughs> to the top of the tower and celebrated with us before. What does it feel like to win this year? Oh, absolutely fantastic. It's like, um, how do you say, thank you to everyone, a big virtual thank you to everyone. Um, thanks to all our dealers, uh, great thanks to the team back at base, or not necessarily base at home. Um, thank you to everyone um, for continuing to support our business, obviously the brand that means obviously the world to me, as everybody knows. Um, and yeah, absolutely over the moon in a virtual environment. Lovely to hear from Wendy there, warranty provider of the year. With ever-increasing pressure on margins, warranties are incredibly useful for dealers looking to boost their bottom line and provide customers with peace of mind. The good guys out there not only work hard for their dealer partners, but look after their policyholders too. This year, our highly commended places go to two brilliant firms who pushed our winner to the limits. They are WMS Group and AutoProtect. Our winner has risen to the top thanks to some brilliant feedback from happy customers. Taking the top spot for 2020 is Warranty Wise. I caught up with the firm's Chief Executive Officer, Lawrence Whitaker to find out what this year's award means to him and his team. Well, it just feels really, really wonderful. I mean, we, we've really made a lot of changes uh, in the last sort of 12 months. Um, to make the car dealer offering better. Um, many, many things that we've done, in, in, including, you know, we, we've employed a, a brand new uh, head of sales um, who's, you know, absolutely transformed the way that we deal with dealers. Uh, we have new uh, people on the road who go out and making sure that the, the dealers have the, the absolutely best support that they can get, backed up with the office staff as well. Uh, better point of sale. We're doing like um, dual branded point of sale now. So car dealers can have their own brand and the warranty wise brand on their price visors and their flags. And, and all those things seem to have come together and, um, um, you know, created a, a, a product that I think is, is market leading. And, and we're just so thankful to have the award um, and excited to, to put it everywhere. Great to hear from Lawrence there. Okay, next up is the Paint Protection Provider of the Year. This is one of the most competitive categories in the Car Dealer Power Awards every year. Paint Protection offers dealers a superb upsell opportunity and the chance to improve profits on new and used cars. Our two highly commended firms won praise from our readers for their customer support and branding, and this year go to Superguard and Auto Glim Lifeshine but our winner always goes above and beyond the call of duty to work hard for its partners. This year, our winner is Gardex. I caught up with Amanda Massey to chat about the win. It means a huge, um, huge deal to us to be obviously in such a competitive marketplace to be able to win this award. I think it's testimony to the strength of the relationships we have with our clients um, and also the team, because you know we don't do this it's not just one person, it's a collective team that win these awards, um, backed by our fantastic customers. So yeah, we're really, really proud. Lovely to hear from Amanda there. Now, Auction House of the Year. Prices at auction houses have been crazy this year as the industry scrabbles over used car stock. Auction houses have had to adapt quickly to the coronavirus crisis too, taking sales digital and changing processes. Our highly commended place firms are no stranger to those changes and have moved quickly to keep used car supply flowing. This year, they go to BCA and Aston Barclay. But our winner in the Auction House of the Year category for 2020 is Mannheim. 
I caught up with Liam Quigan to chat about the award. Liam, huge congratulations. You and the team must be absolutely delighted. We're incredibly proud to have won Auction House of the Year. Mannheim has worked tirelessly through this incredibly challenging time to meet the demands of our customers. And also, I'm incredibly proud of our team members who've delivered time and time again through this incredibly difficult period for our industry. Great to hear from Liam there. Okay, next up is the Trade Insurance Provider of the Year. With dealerships up and down the country shut during lockdown, many in the trade were thankful their insurance policies were there in case of problems. Although no business ever wants to use it, knowing the right cover is there when things go wrong gives peace of mind. Our highly commended place firms work hard to find the right policies for their customers and this year go to Unicom and Tradewise. But our winner was heaped with praise from their happy customers and this year it goes to Gallagher's. I caught up with the firm's Leon Bosch to chat about the win. Congratulations. How does it feel to be um, voted the winner of, by our Cardi the Power Readers? Oh, uh, uh, first and foremost, thank you very much. Um, it's a, it, 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 I mean, it's great and it's, you know, it's testament to all the, um, all the hard work and effort that the team's put in um, during the, the, these, as, as we're all saying, unprecedented times. Um, but, you know, more so than ever, it's just, it, as I understand, it's all been voted for by the readers, which uh, in itself is is just a great testament, knowing that what we're doing and uh, and working hard to, to try and deliver great services being noticed. Congratulations to Leon and the team there. Now, online advertising for new cars. The new car market is starting to open up again, and this September could be the biggest plate change month ever. Helping consumers work their way through the huge amount of options available are some brilliant websites, which our readers recognise here. Our two highly commended firms offer unique services that help match buyers with cars and were loved by our dealers. They are CarWow and WhatCar. But while our winner is mostly known for its brilliant used car platform, its section for nearly new cars really stood out for praise from our readers. The winner for 2020 is Hey Car. I gave one of the directors, Karen Hilton, the good news. Karen, huge congratulations. You must be delighted. Oh, certainly, James. I, I think it's made... Um... It's made 12 months worth of really hard work absolutely worthwhile. We are absolutely delighted. Yeah, and of course, for, 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 for perhaps viewers who, who may not know this, you launched a year ago, really. So to win an award in your first year. We, we came out of the blocks this year with some really big ambitions. And, and one of the things we always talked about was, you know, within a year, we want to be a really credible threat within the industry. Um, and, and it's a cluttered space, there's lots going on, um, and, and 2020 has been a year like no other. Um, so, so to win this award, um, it, it's more than an award to go in the box, um, it, it means all the late nights were worth it. Um, and, and there's a pretty small but mighty team at Haycar, we we're only 64. Um, so, so, so to win this from, from ultimately the people that pay our bill as well, um, uh, it is a massive honour. Great to hear from Karen there. Okay, in a moment, we'll be finding out who the winners are in our online advertiser for used cars, finance, videos, extra mile, and innovation of the year categories. But next, we'll be revealing the model that's won our car dealer power car of the year. The car dealer power car of the year category is unique because it's the only one voted for by car dealers. We asked all our respondents to our survey to name the one car they felt had made the biggest impact on four courts this year. And here they are. The first highly commended spot goes to... The Porsche Taken. So Batch, one of our highly commended winners, the incredible Porsche Taken, Taken, Taken. I, I say Taycan, but it's it's horses for courses. Tomato, tomato, isn't okay. it? What do we think of this thing? I mean, yeah, it's a very impressive car. Does it look like a Porsche? Um, I'm not entirely sure. Um, does it drive like a Porsche as well? If your idea of a Porsche is the engine slung out the back, big flat six roaring away, 
it's not going to drive like a Porsche. But for an electric car, it's probably one of the best handling and driving electric cars on the market. It's going to do, I think this car's going to do phenomenally well because you've got to remember that up until now, it's only really been Tesla that have produced a really impressive electric car. Other manufacturers have languished behind Tesla. This, along with the Polestar, I suppose, Polestar 2, start to close that gap a little bit. And I think Porsche dealers are really going to have, you know, they're going to sell lots of these cars. Huge departure for what this brand is really known for. But for that, I think the dealers have celebrated them and given them the highly commended. So congratulations yeah. to Porsche. Yeah, absolutely. And you don't forget Porsche have been used to selling SUVs. Dealers have got used to having a changing, you know, different type of product. And I think dealers are going to quickly adapt to selling, you know, an electric car. So, yeah, well done to Porsche. Next up, and our second highly commended spot goes to the Ford Puma. So about Ford Puma, first time this uh, name has come back for quite some time, already in the best-selling charts uh, in, the, in, in August. What do you think of this? I think, let's not forget, fourth best-selling car in August. It's gone straight in to a really high place, and that shows you the, the level of customer interest in this car. And it's, it's unsurprising, really, because you've had a lot of motoring journalists, guys like us, saying, oh, it's a Puma, it's not a two-door coupe like it was in the 90s. Why have Ford done it? Well, two-door coupes don't sell anymore, do they? SUVs, you, dealers can't sell enough of them. So it's unsurprising Ford have gone down the SUV look. And not only does it look nice, it's got some proper substance to it as well. The interior is nicely made. It's got a decent infotainment system. It's got a fantastic boot. It's got a really clever kind of extra storage level. But also, because it's a Ford, it's based on the Fiesta, it handles really, really well. Lovely little gear, manual gearbox in this particular car as well. Customers are bowled over by it. Dealers like it. Up until now, dealers have had a pretty, you know, let's face it, a mediocre car in the Echo Sport. Um, this doesn't replace the Echo Sport, but it brings in a new type of customer and that is good news to a dealer. Yeah, it's clearly working. I think it's an absolutely cracking little car and, yeah. and, and well deserving of our highly commended place. Yeah, and I, really, I mean, let's face it, this probably was very close to winning the top gong, um, but the fact it's one highly commended doesn't surprise me at all. And finally, the Car Dealer Power Car of the Year is the Land Rover Defender. Right, Bax, I've only got it covered up because I've always wanted to do this, so I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> Such a Let's reveal the car of the year. <laughs> it's the Land Rover Defender, Bax. Yes, indeed, indeed. So, a special car uh, and one that dealers have been desperate for for quite some time. What do you think of it? Oh, it's brilliant. I mean, for me, I do feel as though since the first Defender, or the last Defender went off in sale, 2016, I think it was, Land Rover as a brand has felt strangely sort of, it hasn't felt authentic. And this brings that authenticity back, really. Um, some people moan about the fact it's not a proper Defender. It's not going to be bought by farmers. I mean, I disagree with that, really. Farmers don't buy brand new cars. It's, you know, it's rich families who want to be seen in the latest wheels and this is it's got the fashion element i mean it's so fashionable it is the car of the moment no question of it it's hugely adept off-road it's got a lovely interior and it just looks so cool doesn't it and I mean, it's very different to, to, to what i expected Batch, but it's, it's a car that dealers desperately need, isn't it, in terms of the sales side? Yes, they do, because uh, Land, you won't get Land Rover saying this on record, but the Discovery 5 has put off a few family buyers. Um, they've kept hold of the Discovery 4 because they like that kind of more Bauhaus-y kind of sort of rough, sort of rough and rugged look to, to, the, to the car. Disco 5 doesn't do that. This car does that, um, and it just fits in the marketplace really, really well, and I think dealers are going to sell tonnes of them. So, a deserving winner of our Car Dealer Power Car. Very, very deserving well, winner. Well, congratulations to Land Rover. Mm. We caught up with Jaguar Land Rover UKMD Rawdon Glover to chat about the win. Yeah, James, well, firstly, we're, we're, we're very excited uh, about the award. We're very excited about the vehicle. And as you say, the fact that it's voted for by 
peers in the industry um, tells us that the Defender really is, a, I guess, a special car. We, we, we've been internally very excited about the car. There's an awful lot of work going into the Defender, you know, trying to respect its history, but not be harnessed by it. So actually seeing it uh, recognized in this sense is, uh, is really special. Yeah, very pleasing. Lovely to hear from Rawls in there and congratulations to the Defender. What a car. Now, online advertiser for used cars. With millions of users and hundreds of thousands of cars advertised on their pages, the classified websites are a vital tool in the car dealer sales arsenal. The best have easy to search websites, great data insight and importantly, millions of potential customers visiting them every month. Our highly commended firms were praised for their great customer service and return on investment. And this year goes to eBay Motors Group and Facebook Marketplace. But our winner has served dealers with huge amounts of leads since lockdown and continue to support its partners. The winner for 2020 is also Trader. We caught up with Darren Moon from the company. Darren, massive congratulations. Uh, I know you guys have been working incredibly hard during the lockdown to keep everybody updated and helping keep those used car sales flowing. It's certainly been noticed by our readers. How does it feel to win this award? Um, I think because you, the last thing you just said then, it means so much because it's voted by, by your readers, our customers. Um, and really online advertising is, is the core of our business and to be recognized for it is absolutely amazing. Truly fantastic. Nice to catch up with Darren there. Okay, next up is the finance provider of the year for subprime. Doing the deal isn't just about finding the right car, it's about making the numbers stack up too. A good finance provider will be able to deal with even a complicated customer's needs and our subprime finance suppliers do just that. Praise for their great customer support and quick decisions. Our highly commended place this year goes to Evolution. But our winner has for years excelled itself with its customer service and focused during lockdown on supporting its partners. The winner for 2020 is First Response. I caught up with the firm's head of sales, Jonathan Such, to find out what the award means to them. Well, delighted, really. I think it speaks volumes for the... Um the work that we've been putting in this year. Um, I think there's no better feedback really than from the dealers, like they're ultimately the people that are our bread and butter really. So um, yeah, I mean, I speak for the whole of First Response when I say we're absolutely delighted to, to recapture the award as well, because we haven't had it for a couple of years, I don't believe either. No, I mean, I know you've won, you've won it in the past, but um, the feedback we saw in, in the survey this year certainly highlighted the work that you've, you've done with dealers during lockdown. I'm pleased it's been recognised, <laughs> just because of the um, the sheer amount of work we've we put in. Really, that was our like main strategy through lockdown was to make sure we supported people. Um, so it's just really pleasing to hear that that's been recognised, really, and and it's not going to stop either. Like that is what we're here to do, really. So that's going to be our strategy ongoing. So that isn't going away. Nice to catch up with Jonathan. Okay, next up is our finance provider of the year, but for the prime category. No matter how prestige the car, a good deal on finance is crucial to getting the customer to sign on the dotted line. Good rates and a great service can be the difference between deal or no deal. And our shortlisted firms here receive great praise from our readers. Helping ease the deals through with slick processes and great support, this year sees our highly commended spots go to Santander, and BNP Paribas. But our winner was loved by our readers for its superb customer service and taking the spoils for 2020 is Close Brothers Motor Finance. I caught up with their MD, Sean Kemple, to chat about the win. Well, thanks, James. And, uh, and first of all, thank you for continuing to do the Car Dealer Power Awards, even, even um, online, that's brilliant. Uh, means a huge amount to us. Uh, great to be shortlisted, first of all, with, um, with um, uh, peers like uh, BNP and Santander. Uh, but for us, it's absolutely huge. We've been putting a lot of work in to understanding our dealers and their needs and requirements over the last number of years. So obviously, because it's voted by dealers, that makes it all the sweeter for us. Nice to hear from Sean there. Now, video provider of the year. 
Video is growing in importance every year. Whether it's to show off cars for advertising or engaging with customers, lockdown saw its use accelerate even further as dealers turned to video solutions to communicate with their customers and sell cars. Our two highly commended firms offer brilliant video solutions that our dealer readers love to use. This year, they go to Rhino Vision and see it now. But our winner's solution works brilliantly and received high praise in our survey. The 2020 award goes to Gardex Advantage B2C. We caught up with the firm's Billy Kootin to see what the award meant to them. Yeah, absolutely. And thank you. Thank you very much for, for having me on and also for presenting us with the award. We're, we're absolutely thrilled to be the winners of this award. It's one that we've wanted for a while. So, so thank you very much. No, and uh, well, don't thank us. It's thank, thank you to, well, thank the dealers. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. It's, it's nice to be recognised by our dealers. You know, we put a lot of effort into to making sure we provide them with good products and good support. So to be recognised that is, is great for us and great for our team as well. Nice to hear from Billy there. OK, next up, it's our Extra Mile Award. Now, 2020 will go down as a year the motor trade wants to forget. But when we do look back, it's the stories of how the trade club together that will hopefully be remembered. When chaos descended on the industry, there were a number of firms that decided that right then, profits weren't important, but helping out each other was. Our winner of the Extra Mile Award was one such firm. Opening up its platform to dealers across the country, completely free of charge from April to the end of September, this brand did all it could to help the industry out in the COVID-19 crisis. And our car dealer readers were very grateful they did. The winner of the Extra Mile Award for 2020 is What Car and its new car buying platform. We caught up with the firm to chat about the win. Kate, huge congratulations. Uh, you and the team must be absolutely delighted. Oh, thank you so much, James. Yeah, we are absolutely delighted with this award. I think it's not just, you know, personally I am, we've been working on it since um, it was first came about, but for sales, we've got all the dealers live, the service, help support them along the way, product and tech who have been busy improving the product continually, editorial, I mean, you know, endless, we are just going to be celebrating in London, I'm sure, with this award. Thank you very much. Lovely to hear from Kate there. Now, product innovation of the year. The car industry could never be accused of a lack of innovation. In the car supply world, new products and services are coming out every week. And it's this constant drive to be better that pushes the industry forward. The winner of our Product Innovation of the Year award is a household name that is closely linked to most people's everyday lives. It's online classified solution that offers dealers the chance to advertise their cars completely free of charge to a potential audience of millions marks it out as completely unique. The winner of our Innovation of the Year category is Facebook Marketplace. Unfortunately, Facebook couldn't join us on video but told us they were very excited Marketplace had been recognised in the Car Dealer Power Awards. And they added they were committed to supporting dealers in the UK and helping them connect more easily with people looking to buy cars. Well, there we are then. All the winners and highly commended companies brought to you. And you didn't even have to get up off the sofa. Yes, it's been a great pleasure handing out these awards in what has been an incredibly tough year. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. It's been a lot of fun putting it together. Now, if you want to watch the interviews with all of our winners in full, log on to cardealermagazine.co.uk and click on the special power tab at the top of the page. But that's not it for the Car Dealer Awards in 2020. Next up is the Car Dealer Top 100 in association with ASE Global and sponsored by G-Forces. And then finishing the year is the Car Dealer Used Car Awards. Both will be held digitally and there's still time to enter both. Until next time, though, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Yeah, goodbye.